What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hate that as of recently, a lot of the times I've come in front of this camera, I've had to apologize for not giving y'all vlogs, not being as consistent as I usually am or as I'd like to be. But just to keep it 100% honest with y'all, fourth year is a lot busier than I thought it would be. But I came to make this video to tell y'all a huge announcement. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, y'all should do that. Um, and if y'all don't see or pay attention to the community posts, I passed my boards. Um, I am INDBE exam. If you watch the vlog from when I went to Vegas at the beginning of that week, I was home in Maryland taking both uh, day one and day two of the INDBE, which is the Integrated National Dental Board exam. And I got my results uh, last week, I think. Yeah, I got my results last week saying I passed, extremely excited about that. That's a big weight off my shoulders. Now, the next step is CDCA, which is in September. I wanted to make a video, number one, quickly explaining where I've been. Before it was boards, now it's simply, I just got off of two weeks of oral surgery rotation. It's really hard for me to do any type of vlogging or really recording any videos during that rotation just because the days are long and they're fast paced. There's absolutely no time for me to be able to record anything. Um, and I pretty much am at school from like seven to five every day. It's just very tiring. So I just got over that. Now I'm back in the clinics with my patients until my next rotation, which is on September 9th. My school also has a 10 week externship, which for me, uh, I'm in the third rotation, which is October 7th until winter break. I've got to figure out what type of style I'm going to have going here for the vlogs and stuff. Because I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to really do any vlogging. It might be similar to oral surgery rotation in that regard. However, don't worry. I'm still going to be bringing videos to y'all as often as I can. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get it in where I can fit in, you know. Anyway, I wanted to make this video to talk about my experience taking the board examination and how I passed because uh, I do get a lot of DMs about studying for boards. I guess I never really realized that um, dentists that are applying for like these advanced standing or international programs in the US, they require that you pass the boards before you start. And uh, you know, for me, when I used to get DMs about how to study for boards, I couldn't really answer it or I didn't really feel comfortable answering it because I did not successfully pass the exam yet. I may have been studying, but who am I to tell you how to study when I haven't even shown that how I study works, you know? So anyway, this video won't be too long. And honestly, it probably won't apply to a lot of the people that watch my channel. But for the people that are looking for a resource on how to study for the INDBE, the dental board examination, here you go. So I studied for exactly 45 days. I used INDBE bootcamp, which a lot of us use for studying for the DAT. It's the same company, DAT bootcamp, INDBE bootcamp. And I also have made videos before about how I used dental school bootcamp for my first year of dental school. So g given that I've already seen success with DAT bootcamp and with INDBE bootcamp, I decided, I mean, dental school bootcamp, I decided I was going to use INDBE bootcamp in order to study for boards. Now, I do have a discount code for all of these. Yes, I uh, am a affiliate or partner, or however you want to say it with bootcamp.com. But I like I'm not lying. I told you guys when I studied for my DAT bootcamp that I mean, when I studied for my DAT that I felt like bootcamp was lacking in some areas and I was very honest about that. Um, but to be very honest, INDBE Bootcamp was the only thing I used this time. Um, no supplemental YouTube videos or whatever it is, every single thing I needed was on there. Um, so yes, as I was saying, I have a 10% discount code. If you just type in student Dr. Eli as you're checking out, you can get 10% off of any of the DAT, INDBE or Dental School Bootcamp with that same code. Um, but anyway, I studied for exactly 45 days and I used the schedule that um, is on INDB Bootcamp. I didn't stick to it 100% to a T, so I'll talk about the changes that I made to the schedule 
and how I think that benefited my study uh, routine and study habits. So I'm actually gonna grab my laptop because I have a copy of the schedule on here, I'm pretty sure. And I can just briefly run through how the schedule works and what changes I made to the schedule in order to study more effectively. So the schedule says there's a 45 day schedule which has one rest day slash review day per week. I definitely took some rest days because uh, some days I just had too long of a day in clinic to come home and study and I just couldn't get it done. Sometimes I had to combine two days into one because I took too many rest days, etc. This schedule says that you should expect about four hours per day to study. I don't think that was the case for me. I felt like a lot of the days that I studied, I studied for about two to three hours a day. Usually, in order to effectively get through all of the material, I try to get a solid hour before my day at school. That way, in the case that I got home from school and I was too tired to do anything, I know that I at least did something at the beginning of the day. And I think I talked about that in some of my previous vlogs. The study schedule starts with you doing about half of the problems in each section. And it basically has a section for all of the disciplines that you need to study for the INDBE. So you've got operative dentistry, pediatric dentistry, perio, oral surgery, endo, ortho, prosthodontics, preventive dentistry, oral path, oral radiology, regular pathology, microbio, development disorders, anesthesia and pain medicine, a whole bunch of stuff, right? And those take up the first, let's see, 16 days of the study schedule. It's just doing half of those sections and basically reviewing the material. Now, my suggestion is when you are doing these practice questions, because most of the study schedule just asks that you do practice questions, review the answers, whether you got them right or wrong, review the answers. Because what I notice on the real INDBE is that none of the concepts that came up on my exam were new. It was nothing that I didn't see on boot camp, but it may have asked the question a little bit differently or asked about one of the different options that was in one of the questions that I did on boot camp. So I think it's important that you go through everything. After those 16 days, they have you start working on doing some sections where you combine the disciplines. So basically it has you do 60 questions a day, questions that you haven't seen before, which is why they only ask you to do one half of the section at the beginning. You do that up until day 33. And by that time, you should have made it through basically all of the questions in every section and all you have left are the full length practice test uh, sections. So then uh, what I did was I didn't do one full length test in one sitting. I basically just did sections whenever I had the time to until I got through the whole full length test. And that was that took me from probably about day 33 until one week before my exam, so day 38 or so. After that, I spent my last my last week reviewing everything. Reviewing, 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 reading the cheat seats that were on uh, DAT, I mean, INDB bootcamp, watching some of the mental dental videos, um, and that's what really took me from where I was to passing the exam. Because where I was, I was like, borderline, might pass, might not pass. Yes, it was a very, very very nerve-wracking time and I really was getting I was getting very nervous about my exam because of that so I think some of the key things when it comes to studying for this exam is knowing what you don't know and focusing on that I pounded that in in all my DAT study videos and it holds true for the INDVE try to focus on learning something that you don't know every day I think that's what I did in addition to the study schedule that really helped, right? So 60, 60 questions a day, that's not gonna take me four hours and honestly, I don't think it'll take anybody four hours. 60 questions a day took me about 30 to 45 minutes. So in order to make up for all the rest of that study time that they were telling me to expect, I would go through one concept, right? So if I look in my iPad, which is where I had all my notes from when I was studying for my INDBE, there were days where I would literally just write out one topic. I have it in this 
section called daily study and uh, I would just learn that one topic and it would be something that helped me for going along so for example politics for fixed partial dentures so I noticed that uh, some of the questions were asking about good politics for a bridge in the anterior region or in the posterior region or for people that have trouble maintaining their oral hygiene etc etc and there were certain politics that you were supposed to use for each of these scenarios so I just spent a day trying to learn that and then I moved on next day I might have studied uh, the different types of cements there's different cements that you use for crowns that are ceramic or porcelain fused in metal or whatever it may be so I studied that and I think that really helped I was focusing on the things that I didn't really know that well and learning those so that by the time the exam came I was more confident with my ability to pass that's all I have for this video. If you have any other questions about studying for the INDBE, leave a comment down below. That's the easiest way to reach me. Um, if you are studying for the INDBE or getting ready to prepare for the INDBE, I 100% recommend that you get the INDBE bootcamp uh, subscription and you use my code for 10% off. Um, other than that, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. There will be more videos coming very soon. Don't worry about that. We're back. We are so back. Um, and yeah, I hope to see y'all soon. All right. Take care. Peace. <laughs>